Hey, good evening, Micro Map here. Doing a quick uh, video here on today's trading activity and the futures action. Man, the market was so exciting today, it almost knocked me out of my chair. And I'm being sarcastic. The market is stagnant, flat. We need some. We need a crisis. We need. We need, unfortunately, a missile or something to go off to make this this market move a little bit. Cause it's it's like watching paint dry. Anyways, here in the Tasty Trade account, I already did four trades today. I did a calendar spread and dash to the put side for it to retrace. I did. I closed out net uh, for uh, about $40 profit on a 50 call calendar spread. And I closed my futures in wheat and soybeans for decent profits. And I'm glad I took them off when they were profits because they turned red on the day. I haven't checked them in the offer after hours. We'll check them now here in the... Uh, in the TD Ameritrade futures. So here's TD Ameritrade. Futures open at 6 p.m. Right now we have a 10-year hovering around 3.5. We have all foreign currencies down except the yen, which is kind of a safety currency. Uh, the dollar's up a little bit. Like I said, this market's been very, very stagnant. Very, very boring. Bitcoin got slapped today down. I want to say Bitcoin was down like $2,000. I picked up some more Biddle, and I'll show you here in a little bit uh, what I picked up. Yeah, so Bitcoin, well, it's showing down 1200 but I know it's lower than that, and Ether is way under 2K right now. Oil, uh, down 37 cents. I think oil had a big day. Uh, I don't know if it's going to show you here the, the actual... Well, oil climbs 2% as recession fears begin to fade. It's funny how one day is one thing and the next day is another. Uh, and as traders, we don't care about that. Uh, S&P is down 2, gold down 3, ether back up 22.50 in the after hours after getting hit pretty hard today. Copper under that $4 level. Lean hogs continue to come back down. 83 cents. Cattle, 162, staying strong. Fundamentals are great there. Just like the feeders, 223. Small caps flat, 1760. Uh, NASDAQ pretty much flat, down 15. Dow Jones down 25. Palladium and Platinum. Platinum is flat pretty much. Palladium down 22, but it's had a nice uh, bump up here in the recent... Uh, uh, last week and start to the week. Uh, natural gas, 223. Silver, flat. Grains, corn down 5 cents. Soybeans, 6. And wheat, 7. And interest rates are pretty flat. On the trade front in here, um, I did a call calendar spread in United Airlines. At the 50 strike and 52.50, I think the airlines might be going higher. I closed out Eli Lilly for a huge profit. Uh, probably, we could take a look and see how much I made on that call calendar spread. Went long, American Airlines, Royal Caribbean. I closed my, my, my uh, short in the spy, didn't make much. I roll my Tyson uh, food debacle trade. Uh, the good thing is I closed my stock, and that would have been a thousand, down a thousand dollars on Tyson Foods. But I closed out Friday knowing that they had earnings, and I only did a two dollar and fifty wide put credit spread for about seventy five cents, eighty five cents. And what I did was I rolled it down even more because I had the sixty put. I rolled it down to fifty. 250 to 42.50. I went ten dollar wide and I collected another twenty cents, um, and I stay in the same cycle. June, I bought more Ethereum and I bought more Bitcoin today. Um, 
Eli Lilly was a good trade. I I bought the the call calendar for four hundred and sixty dollars on April twenty eighth, almost at the end of the month, and I sold it for six ninety today. So very, very good return on investment on that trade. Happy with that trade. And I'll continue to do stuff in there. I like them and and NBO for weight management trades. Uh, they're selling all these kind of insulin to help you lose weight. And uh, I like that sector. Uh, Novo was up today 3% to 168. I also have a call kind of spread in Novo at the 180. Uh, if you look at my options here, I sold the 39 day out 180 and I own the 102 days out 180. So that's my, and I should be up on that trade. Don't know exactly, or maybe I'll do another video on it. Um, but yeah, like I said, not a, lot, not a whole lot happening on the calendar front. Tomorrow we have Small Business Optimism Index, I think. I think the big news is on on uh, Wednesday. I think we get CPI data. Yeah, we should get CPI, and then we get on Thursday PPI. Yeah, on Thursday we get PPI. And then on Friday we get, are you done with OPP? Yeah, you know me. It's a joke, just kidding, guys. Anyways, just a quick recap of today. Uh, action in the market. Not really a lot of action. Want to scroll through the bar chart, we can. See what the old bar chart says here. Can live without bar chart. Options. Most active. Tesla, 1%. AMD, rocking that space monkey of 5% with AI and Microsoft uh, deal. Planeteer, up 25% today with their earnings. Wow, Carvana, 26% update. They're rocking that space monkey today. They're, they're going to be profitable soon. We shall see. Shopify, 3%. PacWest, 3%. Carnival, everybody's going on cruises now. Up six percent, SoFi up six percent, American Airlines up three and a half percent, Fubu TV wow up twenty six percent, wow amazing, a firm up eleven percent. Everybody's doing buy now, pay later again. Tyson Foods walloped. No one's buying no no chicken, frozen chicken or uh, pork in the uh, store. I guess. G scaled up twenty percent, Riot down nine percent with the Bitcoin. Correlated trades, Airbnb of four percent, Discovery of four percent, Oxy down three percent, Rivian up three and a half, and those are your leading options, top fifty today in the market. Stay safe. See you in the next video, folks. Bye bye.